Election Judge Training Video Setting up all voting equipment Assemble the ballot box for the ballot scanner. You'll find the ballot scanner and the three parts for the ballot box in the blue election supply carrier. Start by placing the box bottom on the floor. Unfold the box and insert it to the bottom. The board logo must face the front. Secure the box to the bottom with red tie seals on all four sides. You will use a total of four seals to secure the bottom. You must record the seal numbers on the seal accountability form. Next, place the top onto the box, making sure that the white arrows line up. Secure the top to the box with red tie seals on all four sides just as you did to the bottom and record the seal numbers on the seal accountability form. The ballot scanner is inside a red box. Place the ballot scanner on top of the ballot box by lining up the feet of the scanner to the grooves on the box and slide into place. Use the latch on the top of the ballot box to securely lock the ballot scanner into place. Secure with a red tie seal and record the seal number on the seal accountability form. Plug the power cord into the rear of the scanner. Use the Velcro ties to secure power cable and then run the power cable through the grooves of the ballot box. With a plastic pointer, press and hold the power button located on the front left side and release once you hear a beep. Look for a solid green light on the front left of the scanner. Find the security key inside the plastic sleeve located inside the red ballot scanner box. Place the security key on the security key port found on the left side of the scanner and hold for at least two seconds. Once the password screen appears, remove the security key from the security key port and place back in the red scanner box. Using the plastic pointer, enter the password located inside the red ballot scanner box and press enter. On the ballot scanner screen, confirm that the date of the election and the time of day are correct. Press confirm if correct. From the main menu screen, select Poll Management. Tap Open Polls and select Confirm. The ballot scanner will automatically print a morning zero tape. Don't remove the morning zero tape. It must remain attached to the scanner until after the polls close. All judges must sign the morning zero tape after it is done printing. Press Continue once the morning zero tape is finished printing. Break the yellow seal on the right side of the scanner and open the modem port door. Connect the modem found in the red ballot scanner box to the USB port. Once the modem is connected, select Confirm on the screen. If configuration transmission was successful, press Continue. Seal modem port door with a red seal and place modem back into the red ballot scanner box. You'll find the touchscreen voting booth, touchscreen and printer in the blue election supply carrier. Remove the privacy screen from behind the touchscreen voting booth. Set the touchscreen voting booth down and unlock the latches to the left and right of the unit. Unfold the legs by opening them outward. Raise the tabletop up and guide into place. Secure the latches underneath the table. Place the touchscreen voting unit on the table. Gently raise the screen and place the bar in an upright position. Now, place the printer on the voting booth. Plug the power cord for printer and run the cord through the opening in the back of the table and connect to power. Run the touchscreen cord through the other opening and connect to power. Connect the printer cord coming from the touchscreen into the back of the printer. Turn the power on. On the touchscreen voting unit, break the yellow seal on the power printer door. Locate the on switch and press. Wait for touchscreen to initialize. Reseal door with a red seal and record seal number on the seal accountability form. Insert poll worker card found inside the red ballot scanner box into card slot with chip facing down. Enter password located in the red ballot scanner box and press Login. On Poll Administration screen, verify Public Counter 
total ballots printed in the lower left-hand corner is at zero. Verify precinct and ward. Verify date on the election and current time. Select open poll and press yes. Remove poll worker card. Ensure that your poll worker card is in your possession at all times. Unfold the privacy screen and latch it to the metal slots on top of the touchscreen voting booth by sliding it into place. Touchscreen is ready for voters.